Do you want me Thank to share you. my screen, Gary, since you're... Sure, if you would, yeah. please. Yeah, I will do that. Uh, while Dawn's doing that, welcome everybody to another instance of the Chaos OSPO Working Group. Uh, this is the Chaos OSPO Working Group, not the Communication Group. If you came here for communication, uh, let us know. We can drop a link in chat to that meeting. Uh, on the agenda today, we have a couple of items, and if y'all, if we stir some conversation, we can talk about that too. So, first thing is the monumental effort that Don put together of renaming Bus Factor. So, so tired of talking about renaming the bus factor metric, uh, but we did, we did come up with a, um, an alternative after, I don't know, like 80 some comments on the issue to discuss renaming the bus factor metric, but we, we sort of landed on contributor absence factor. So I have actually, uh, made the change on the website on the actual metric itself. Um, I'm still working with someone and we're going to go through and do a bunch of cleanup to clean up where it's mentioned in, um, you know, some of the metrics models and other metrics and various other places where it's on the website that it's going to need to be updated. So that is, that is still in progress, but, uh, but we're calling it, we're calling it renamed. We're calling that part done. Fantastic. And I know a lot of uh, folks in this call contributed to that effort and had, <laughs> commentary and things to say um yes. so that's you know we appreciate the engagement uh there because it who knows what we would have called it otherwise right we just had so <laughs> many options and we landed on obviously the most best one objectively yeah i kept thinking we had we had finally renamed it and then something would come up to dash my yeah. hopes but but it's, it's done it's just done we're never gonna talk about this again yeah, to add another two weeks to the process every single time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, next up is Divya. Previous metrics development OSPO working group. We had talked about Chatham House rules in a monthly call. Uh, any updates on the cadence and first occurrence of the call? Yeah, this, this was just a question because I received a question from the Japanese folks. So I'm like conveying the question here since I didn't see any updates. Um, and they were very interested in um, uh, joining, but uh, they couldn't really find any updates on Neda Christ and the future. Yeah, so we talked about this, um, not in this meeting, but we talked about it in, um, maybe it was the metrics model meeting. And so I, I think I think what we landed on was that we're gonna do a once a month Chatham House rules meeting that is probably a little more focused on the standard and standardization initiative so not not sort of a general general meeting but a little more focused on the standardization it won't replace the existing metrics model meeting it'll be in addition to those um, but it'll be a separate one that's focused on the standardization the ISO standardization and I think Divya we were going to look to you to help us find a time that worked for for the Ooh. folks, particularly the folks in Japan. That is something I did not see coming. <laughs> but uh, yes, I will I will check with them and see what is a convenient time. And I actually remember talking about this in like two weeks prior. No, I mean, I don't know how to say two weeks prior, but like a month prior probably in this call, uh, the very first time I joined the call, um, that was the first question I asked. So it was discussed in say, I think May 16th or something. I don't remember, or maybe before that. Uh, but uh, essentially I will ask uh, the um, Japanese folks and there are a few um, uh, existing uh, Chinese folks as well who want to join in so maybe I'll redirect them to actually come to those calls instead of joining the other calls and see what is a convenient time for all of us to convene I'll take it as an action item only yeah thank you so much not a problem thank you thanks Divya uh, and if there's no other thoughts from the members in this call. We can probably uh, run up to the practitioner guides, just the reminders that we already have. Um, Do we have any, let's just pause for just one second. Do we have any other agenda items? Because I feel like uh, 
nobody added anything. Are, is there other stuff that we want to talk about today? Because otherwise we're going to do the reminders and then we're going to be done in like five minutes, which is fine. I have no yeah. objections to getting some time back, but this is a really good opportunity if you have any hot topics or just questions or just things you want to chat about that are related to OSPOs and metrics and chaos and to do group, any anything that people want to talk about? I can talk about if there is nothing else. Uh, I have one one question. I was reviewing some metrics today. And our team came up with one that is uh, in place of the first time of first response to a PR, the time to reply to PR after some action happens. So let's say uh, we give the first response, then the requester made a change and uh, how long it took for the team to respond again. Uh, and I didn't find one mentioned explicitly that into the list in the cost metrics. So I wonder if this was discussed before, if there is something that is pretty similar and I could use in place, maybe. Yeah, That's I can- uh... really... Oh, Sorry, go ahead. Man. I was I was going to jump in with um, I think I can give some rationale to why that metric might not exist, um, because there's time to first response uh, as a indicator of how responsive teams generally are, but since it's questionable about how many responses there might be, there's like time to end responses that you might want to track there, right? So time to first response, time to second response, time to response from commit, right? And I think a good proxy for that might just be time to close, where you say, what's the time to first response and then what's the time to close? And if that gap is really large, where the first response happens within a few minutes, but then the close is like every, you know, five days or something, then there's clearly something happening in the middle of that sandwich. Uh, I, I would, I, in my own methodology, assume that's probably why we don't go down that rabbit hole. That doesn't mean it doesn't have value if it's something that you're seeing a lot as a good indicator of the health of a, an open source community then we can definitely talk about it in this meeting to to refine it a little more in the metrics meeting to see whether or not it belongs as a metric in chaos uh but like that's when you're saying that that's what i think about is that maybe time to close and time to first response are the good like two end points there to kind of uh analyze what's happening in the middle with numbers and we do have a couple of metrics that are in progress, but not yet released that are kind of related. So here's one that's um, second second contribution, which uh, we've, we've struggled to define, but it's, it's um, so I think it was something around the time that it takes for a second, uh, like a second reply on a um, change request, I think. Uh, you can have a look at the, there's a, there's a doc for that. And then there was also time waiting for a submitter action, which is basically um, you submit a pull request and then you get some feedback on it and then you submit, maybe, you know, you add some more commits or something. How, what's the time that people wait for that, that, sec, that those other actions to be responded to? So, so this is one again that is still in progress. So we have, you're welcome to have a look at these documents. This metrics spreadsheet is linked from the top of the OSPO um, agenda. So this metrics tracking sheet, and you can have a look at some of those work in progress metrics as well. And if you still think that uh, what we've defined isn't quite what you needed, uh, we can talk about defining, finding a new one. So uh, the one I'm mentioning is very similar to the one you mentioned in time waiting for a submitted action is the complement to that one is mm. how long it will take for us to reply to a submitted action following a request. So and the reason we see that is because we had like these threads of too many comments and at some point they get stale for a long time. So mm -hmm. we don't see it in the close because it the close doesn't happen. Uh, it's more like an operational metric. Like we just want to be sure that we reply on time and we don't leave them there. It's not for a 
after analysis is more like monitoring thing to act now <laughs> like okay this team is not replying they do first response well but after they first response i it gets stale after the the customer came back to them yeah so this is kind of the thing i i was looking into it i don't think it's necessarily a good metric because I don't have results on it. We just started tracking it, but yes. uh, maybe it's this, maybe it's not. I just was wondering if there was someone already thinking about it or using it before us. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see what you mean. So it's basically um, the flip side of the time waiting for a submitter action, and it's the time uh, sub submitters wait for a maintainer action. Exactly. That's the thing. Yeah. Um, if you're if you're interested in helping to develop a metric like this, we do um, we do this in the metrics development working group meetings. Which um, let me just look at my calendar. I think they have they happen every other week, and we have one. Uh, we have one on the twentieth. So you can have a look at the chaos calendar. Um, I don't know if you have, I can drop the link to the chaos calendar in the chat, just in case you don't have it. And that would be a good place to, to discuss that. Are you interested in coming into that meeting to talk about it? Oops, you're on mute. Uh I will come to a meeting. I don't know if I will be ready to talk about it, uh, maybe in, in the future. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then I won't bring it into the meeting. I will just, I'll, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll leave it here. And we'll give, we'll give you the, we'll give you the action item to, to think about it. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other thoughts, opinions on this uh, time to reply to PR after an action happens? Okay, let's move on. Uh, Georg, I saw you put this in. I think this was from Remy. Uh, or no, this is the to-do group chapter on metrics. You had suggested it. Yeah, I raised the topic since we have some time. I'm not involved in the writing. I don't know where the chapter stands. I know it's a <clears throat> it's a topic that is going to come to a close soon. And so I just thought it might be interesting to put on the agenda if there was anything for us to do on it. I think the last time Matt came in and talked about it, I think that the chapter was in pretty good shape as far as as far as we were concerned if i if i remember correctly but i think he was he was working with alice on maybe finding a a case study or something which when i talked to when i talked to alice and anna about it um they they said that it wasn't like it wasn't um sorry i'm still getting over cold so my brain doesn't work yet that it wasn't a blocker <laughs> So we could still publish it without having that that case study, but I think that was the only thing that was left to do, if if I remember correctly. Okay. But unfortunately, neither of the people who are working on that, on that happened to be in the call. Yeah, it's hard to get an update without the people who would know the update. Okay. Yeah, I was talking with Anna the other day, and she is facilitating completing the book and focus on different chapters um, in, in order to get them completed. So I know mm -hmm. this is going to be closed soon. Now's the time to contribute. If you want to get involved, find that case study. Uh, okay, so Remy, uh, by proxy, I think Remy mentioned he's at a conference um, so he'll be listening in. Ospos for good was what Remy had to say. And Remy, if you can hear us, uh, do you have something you'd like to prompt that with other than Ospos for good? 
I think this is an initiative you had mentioned a couple of times in this group. Yeah, sorry if there's a little noise. I'm on lunch break right now. But um, the Ospos for Good Symposium is happening at the, um, the United Nations July 9th and 10th. Mm -hmm. But also, there's going to be a day of workshops at the Microsoft offices on the 11th. So um, there may be an opportunity to participate in that part of the sessions, even if you uh, didn't get to do the CFP for the um, for the UN one, uh, the invitations or whatever. So um, uh, Jacob Green from OSPO++ uh, is uh, one of the contacts there. Um, if folks uh, need to reach out or, or want to talk, you can also ping me in the Chaos Slack. Um, but it it sounds like it's going to be like very um, the the workshop content. There's going to be a, a number of tracks, and it's a broad representation of OSPO interests. So um, it's great opportunity for this crowd of folks. Uh, hopefully, that is something that if um, New York or you can be in New York, cool. I don't know if there's a remote participation option or not, um, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I can try and find that out too. But I just thought I would mention it because there's so many hospital people here. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good call out. Uh, so if folks are interested, they you, they can reach out to you. Or I, I thought at one point you had mentioned that this was a uh, full session. Did I imagine that? Yeah, no, there's, the Microsoft there's sort of, there's three days of the UN and the third day is at Microsoft. I thought there was a, a an invite form you could find somewhere. It might be linked to on the Hospitals for Good webpage at, on the UN uh, okay. page for that. If it's not, um, I will try and follow up in Slack. I'm just on the road right now. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no I'm worries. Not at my desk, but thank you for your patience, everyone. Totally. Georg, I see you raise your hand. And you can you can reach out to Jacob Green. Oh, sorry, and he's on the to do group Slack if you need to reach and need his contact. Uh, okay. Yes. Sorry, go ahead, Georg. It's, yeah, it's perfectly fine. Um, with the workshops, I'm also helping organize um, the, the workshops overall. And then I also organize one specifically on metrics where we have where we are going to take the participants through the goal question metric approach. And we have people from different communities and different backgrounds give um, like little mini case studies on how they have come up with metrics for measuring the success and value of their effort. Uh, so we have background, uh, industry, government, university, uh, risk focus, health focus. We have different, different speakers that share for five minutes and then we do interactive part with all the participants to think through their own goals questions and metrics right. um, so that's one of the sessions there are many other sessions the schedule is about to go live so the website i put here the what's next for oss the linux foundation is helping host the event so that yeah, if any, there are any questions, I'm also happy to help. Um, so thank you, Remy, for bringing this up. Awesome. And I'm co-organizing with Stephanie from the university group, working group here in Chaos. Cool. Lots of groups involved, lots of good stuff happening. Uh, thanks, Remy, for bringing this up. Thanks, Georg, for your involvement and for reaching out as a as a advocate. And if you're interested, go to to do group Slack and find Jacob Green. Anything else on this topic? One more thing, because the the workshop is about how to do OSPOs. There mm -hmm. is a Anna is helping facilitate a speed mentoring session. It's one of the workshops. And then there's um, OSPOs for All, where it's To Do Group and OSPO Alliance and OSPO Plus Plus and the UN and everyone getting together to talk big picture OSPO, not just within the verticals, but across. 
So there are some interesting sessions happening. That is interesting. It's very high level, very uh, philosophical. What did it, what is it to be an OSPO and how can we do good, right? That's awesome. Thanks for sharing. Um, okay, last call again. Anything else? Cool. That was a big meaty topic and it came in as a impromptu agenda item. Thanks for that, everybody. Uh, and then let's move on. Gregory has a question. Are security practices a metric, uh, including the open source security foundation tools like OpenSSF scorecard? Uh, I, I can answer directly that yes, uh, security practices are included in some of the chaos metrics. Um, I know that Augur, for example, tracks directly with what the scorecard does. Uh, it like when you install Augur and start running it, it will um, also pull the scorecard uh, binaries and, and build them so that it can do stuff with the scorecard data. Um, and that's one piece. I, I don't have the, or I, I could go through the chaos metrics and pick out exactly, um, oh, there we go. OpenSSF best practices badge was the one that I was thinking of. Thank you to whoever pulled up that example. Uh, it does directly come uh, from the OpenSSF and follow the same practices that you might see on the scorecard. There are some other overlapping ones that are listed there as well. Very cool. Because I've, I've done the best practices badge, and I know that's separate from the scorecard. You know, they kind of overlap. One is a, you fill out the badge as the formal program that you uh, and fill out a bunch of stuff. Um, and then the scorecard was actually, in, all right, we're going to scan the repo now if it's public tracing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you also, if you go to the, um, I just linked the, uh, I guess I can just open it since everybody's looking at my screen, um, the compliance and security viability metrics model that Gary wrote has links to um, a bunch of the security related metrics. So that's probably a good jumping off point if you're looking for those those links. I feel oh. like I... I feel like I just summoned Sean by talking about Augur and Don. Uh, we almost yeah, got through a meeting I that I was present at without anybody talking about viability. I didn't bring it up this time. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan. Big fan yeah. of the viability metrics. As am I. I'm very biased, but I really like them. <laughs> Did that answer your question, Gregory? Yeah, absolutely. Good to know that they're already including it. Um, you know, the best practices badges easily fudged. Interesting. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I, I'm also so I've I've been working on the practitioner guides, and we have we have a few of them already. But the security one is actually the one that I'm I'm doing next. So I'll bring that I'll bring that back to this group for feedback because I am I am not a security expert. I know enough to to draft the first draft of the guide, but I could use some uh, some feedback once we get it uh, once I get it started. Would that be next time? I might be able to persuade uh, folks from my team that focus on security to take a look at it. Uh, I don't know. I don't I don't know when that'll be. We'll see. We'll see how much time I can carve out for yeah. it. Just ping me on Slack, give me a heads up. I'll try to try to get those folks to attend and give some input. Okay, cool. All right. Anything else on security practices as metrics? Any other input from other folks on the call? Okay, and this worked really well last time. We asked for more agenda items and some really nice ones appeared. So I'm going to ask again, um, are there other items that folks would like to put into the agenda as we have gained a few people in this meeting? Okay, going once, going twice, doing reminders. So. Uh, some reminders, uh, practitioner guides, if you have read them or you're using them, please give your feedback. Uh, these are standing up fresh and we're very excited to see how people use them. So please 
uh, give us feedback. And then the Chaos Data Science projects uh, are now found here. I assume this means they have a new home. Yeah, they were in this uh, massive uh, Google Doc that uh, was super disorganized that we were trying to wrangle, and I decided it was just too hard, and so I moved them into individual issues. Cool. But that doc did start here in, in this working group to come up with some ideas for what data scientists within the chaos project could work on. So, so we'd love your help defining some of these or, or even working on them as well. So, so have a look at yeah. some of those projects. And if there's something you're interested in, just, just leave a comment, let us know. Yeah, and we have some folks that are sitting and waiting for nice projects get, to get started with here, right? Um, various, uh, like, Remy had mentioned that there might be folks coming in and poking around in these working groups. Uh, so definitely consider if you have things you'd like to see uh, in from the data science working group, submit something because there's some folks hanging around for the summer that would might be able to get it done. Yeah, and we even have a super handy uh, new projects template, uh, an issue template. So if you're if you see a, if you know the project you're interested in isn't already on the list, feel free to just submit, um, submit a new issue using the template. Awesome. And then Fosse in Portland, August 1st to 4th, uh, the deadline was extended to June 18th. Cool. It's a so nice, the friendly conference organized by the folks at Software Freedom Conservancy. Uh, it's going to be at uh, Portland State University this year. So it should be, it should be fun. I'm going to go. Awesome. Submit a CFP, go and see Don. It'll be great. Come hang out. Come hang out. It'll be fun. <laughs> I know uh, all the good restaurants beer on Zoom. in Portland. Well, <laughs> Sean, you can't drink beer on Zoom. I mean, you can turn your camera yeah. off. Oh, right. That's true. <laughs> that's fair. Or <laughs> I guess you could. I hadn't thought about it. Yes. It wouldn't be the same as the, you know, I meant it like metaphorically, not so so much about the beverage. The it's the face to face social engagement that beer is a metaphor or a token ah, for. Gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> um, Beverages of any type. Can't can't drink soda or water, whatever you like. Can't do it on Zoom. Um, okay, well with that, that is the end of our agenda for this instance of the. Chaos OSPO working group. Um, we'll see you again in another couple of weeks. Thank you very much for attending. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.